Welcome to today's video. I am so excited because finally the 33.4 will be officially back on the streets, legal and shuck-in ready. What that means is the car had to go, we had to change a few things back to like stock. It's a thing that you have to do every two years here in Japan and make sure that like your wheels have no poke and all this other type of stuff. So it doesn't look the greatest right now. So you can see we've got some stock Silvia wheels on the back and stuff. But this will mean that we'll be able to pass with flying colors. And uh, yeah, we should be good. Also, look at this. If uh, your wheels are like really close to the fender, you can just put some uh, double-sided foam on here and they'll pass it. So whatever. We're just doing what everyone else does. So yeah, should be good, I think. Hopefully. I don't know. We'll find out if we'll get this first go. <laughs> you reckon we'll get this first go, Daiki? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So they test a bunch of stuff. They want to make sure the one, the car's not too loud. Two, the car's not producing too much CO2. Um, you know, the car's at the right height. The car doesn't have any weird uh, issues. No grease leaking from bushings or anything like that. They're pretty strict on a lot of stuff. Um, you know, they want to make sure that the window washers work. They want to make sure the wipers work, the indicators, the lights, all of that meets, you know, requirements. So it should be good. I'm a little worried about the digital dash, but we will see if um, we have any issues. I don't think we will, but let's find out. We're not allowed to film the staff members, but we've already passed all of the preliminary checks. They also just did a sound check and we're we're good. We're good. So far, so good. <laughs> we might be okay. We might get through this in one one go. Yeah. <laughs> the hardest one is gonna be probably the CO2 and the underbody inspection. I think we all should be good, but this is what we have to do every two years in Japan. It's just, it's just what we do. Some people have to take their entire cars back to stock. Luckily though, where we live and um, this particular car model, a lot of adjustable arms are no problem. It normally comes down to certain car models that aren't approved for adjustable arms, but a lot of the older cars now are okay. But yeah, also if you're in Tokyo, well, just rest in peace because Tokyo is just known for, they have a quota of how many cars they have to fail every day because they want less cars in the Tokyo prefecture. So you gotta be careful. Then they want to test that the lights are correct. Now just make sure they're not like shining in people's eyes when you're driving behind them, that kind of stuff. Time for the CO2 test. Looks like we're past everything. Now for the final check. Wow. They shake it around so much. Oh my god. Full front of the car. Poor thing. We had to redo the final check. They weren't too stoked about our rear upper arms. But hopefully now they'll have a quick check and everything will be okay. Hopefully. They said no. <laughs> we failed. Burp, burp. We'll be back tomorrow morning. We just got to change the rear upper camber arm. They don't like that being adjustable. He said if it was black though, it would have been fine, but because it's a blue arm, um, they were complaining and said that it has to come with the piece of paper. So as long as you buy it from like Cusco or those brands that provide the shuck and paperwork, it'll be okay. But I don't remember how long ago we put that in and where the paperwork is or whatever, but We'll just switch it out for the stock one we had at the shop and come back tomorrow so that we know that we're all good. And then we'll put it back in when we're done. It's just what you have to do for shuck in. It sucks and it can be annoying. Sometimes you get lucky and you get it, everything done first go. That's the only thing that failed. For just that rear upper camber arm. That's it. Everything else could be custom they don't care about. Just the camber one. So weird. So we are back at the shop. We've already got the upper camber arm changed to the stock one in there. Might be hard to see, but stock boy's in there. It's weird that they don't care about this tension arm, but they care about the camber arm. I don't understand. All the toe arm they don't care about. All they care about is the camber arm. It's, it's bizarre. You don't need paperwork for any other arm except that top one. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. We'll switch in the stock one. Daiki will go back tomorrow morning and this thing will pass with flying colors. Everything else checked out on the inspection and pass with flying colors except for that one arm. So uh, Daiki, I guess the next clip you'll see is this car back to the shop and Daiki with a clean bill of shuck in. <laughs> 
a few moments later. It's the next day, the skyline's back and it passed Shaken. <laughs> also, when I said that it was Kahunsha season, which is hay fever season, this is from it being outside over one night. Look at all the pollen and yellow dust on here from China. It's insane, all over my windshield. So this car needs a wash. Look at that, that's disgusting. Yesterday it was clean and now it looks like this. Um, I finished uh, moving the number plate off to the side so we can get full advantage of our bumper and cold air intake into the intercooler, something I've been meaning to do for a very long time. Um, Daiki is putting my upper camber arms back on but we've painted them black. Because the Shaking guy said, if they're black, they're not gonna care next time. So we painted them black instead of blue. And uh, next time we go for shotgun, we shouldn't have a single issue now. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Plates are back on, 33.2. Um, it's a Series 2 R33 Skyline, but the 2 stands for a two-door R33, even though it's a 33.4. I kinda, this was a complete fluke, by the way. We didn't pick these plates. It was just given to us. Um, you can ask for certain numbers. If I'd known that in hindsight, I probably would have gotten 33.4, so that would have been sick. But also, I like the fact that OGs used to always have 33.2 on their 33 Skylines, and the very first 33.4 four skyline ever made by takanori san at meiku had 33 two plates so it's kind of special anyways that aside uh, we're gonna just keep unshuckening this car <laughs> don't really know if that's a word but we're gonna uh, put this back as it was and uh then we'll be going for a drive tonight and probably go to daikoku and I'm stoked. This thing, it, it's a huge deal that this car is back and um, it, it's the OG car of the channel. So I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to drive this thing tonight and hit gate in the tunnel on the one gun. Oh man. By no means is the paint good on this car. I'm pretty sure it got resprayed with a really cheap single stage at some point when they did the 34 front end on it. So there's you know clear coat coming off in places, scratches, dents, and bad bodywork in places as well. But it's amazing how just a quick wash makes this thing look a thousand times better. Now that's not covered in pollen and yellow dust from China as well. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's time I took this on its official maiden voyage with Shuck in. Let's go for a drive. Man, I really am a booty guy. Aggressive in the front, curvy in the rear. This is such a vibe, guys. Oh my gosh. I can't stress to you how good this feels. Driving the skyline again in Japan. Jeez. It was such a cool build too. Listen to this, listen to this. All the right noises, lads. Oh. You already know what's coming, lads. You already know. <laughs> Drink, my precious. I had to do that for the OGs. If you watch the channel back in the day, you know that that was a regular occurrence. But that aside, today's the first day that this thing is legally back on the streets. So the only thing that seems fitting is to take it to Daikoku PA and relive some of the early days in Japan with this car. That aside though, we need to make a quick pit stop to home because there's something special there that I've been wanting to show you for a long time that's been in the works since we kind of started bringing this car back. And I know you're all gonna love it. So let's head home and grab this thing real quick. Not even opening the gate, this thing just makes all the right sounds. Like 50 Ks an hour, second gear, just hitting 3,500 RPM, we're already in boost. It's so good. Also, I'm sorry if you can't see much right now. Look at the Sakura. Yay. Still some left, just a little. Hugo, how's dinner, buddy? <laughs> He's uh, getting some spaghetti bowl. Oh my gosh. Kids are so much fun. Look at you. <laughs> Hugo, guess what? The skyline's back. 
While Mei's cleaning Yugo up, I want to reminisce a little bit. If you guys remember, the very first shirt that we made and sold out of Japan, I believe was the 33.4 Skyline shirt. And now that the car's back, I wanted to kind of relive that. And we've got here a brand new 33.4 Skyline shirt. Give me a second, let me put it on. Bam! Look how good this shirt looks. Oh, it looks awesome. The 33.4 Skyline shirts are back. These are a brand new version of them, obviously, with the new engine and all that type of stuff. And it's like manga kind of style. I love it. It looks awesome. What do you think, Hugo? Do you like the shirt? Do you like the Skyline? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> he gets shy every time we pull the camera out. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. these shirts will be available on Semit.net. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of a pre-order with them. Uh, we're trying out a few new suppliers at the current point in time. So keep an eye on the sizing chart that's going to be on the website with our new sizing, as well as um, we're hoping for much higher quality shirts and prints. We've had a few issues over the years and we just decided it was time to change things up and get something a little higher quality. I think that's what you guys deserve too at the end of the day as well. What do you think, Hugo? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. With that, it's time to head to Daikoku, lads. Let's get these boots on. <laughs> Funny story, Hugo loves red cars. I think your uh, your oh. engine tone's a little off. That's rotary-ish. Yeah, I know. There's an obnoxious rotary sound with his car. You want to go? Oh man, I wish we had a car seat that put him in the back seat. We're gonna try and find one probably like a thrift shop or something that'll fit with the back seat of the Skyline. Cause the bride one is the new version one. It has to have that new child clip in thing. I can't remember what it's called. All right, buddy. I'll see you in a couple hours. Okay. Bye bye. Mm. You go bye bye. Oh. Man, it is such a vibe having my Skyline back out the front of my house. Let's go, 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 go. We're back, guys. We're back. Not even five seconds into getting a coffee. I spilled it everywhere on the car. Everywhere. We're definitely back, lads. We are back. Now would be the perfect time to remind you guys, smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We're on our way to Daikoku. We got a bunch of friends meeting us there. Let's have a good time. We made it to the one gun tunnel, guys. God damn! Sheesh! She's a weapon in the tunnel. Oh my god! We're currently cruising behind some old T bird, maybe? I'm not sure what this is, but it looks sick. It feels so good to be rolling into Daikoku with this car again. I'm so stoked. Looks like a good turnout too, just like every usual Friday night. We made it to beautiful Daikoku, guys. Bunch of homies checking out the fresh build. Man, I cannot wait to get the one gun on the way home tonight. This thing is gonna light up. The green glitter on this 15 goes real hard. Looks great. Looks so good. We've seen this car before on the channel, but we've never seen under the hood. So this is a Unos Roadster, Roadster and he put a Chaser front end on it and then a BMW rear end. This car's really wild. And then to top it all off, he did a Miku Itasha wrap. Oh, dude's even got Miku playing on the rear screens. That is sick. Probably one of the most unique cars I think I've seen here in Japan. Very cool. Also super trippy seeing a Chaser front end and a Miata essentially engine bay. So weird. We really are starting to see more and more low riders invading Japan. And I'm okay with it. It's cool to see new subcultures taking over. Dude, this, is this, hang on, is this a Civic or an Integra? I can never tell what the new, this is a Civic. That is aggressive, that is cool. Huh, round indicators. I didn't, that's kind of interesting. Hashtag bring under glow back. That's so relevant to today's video. Dude, this, what, Del Sol, right? That's cool. Convertible RX7 FD. 
next to some American muscle. It's 8.39 and the police just said they're closing the PA and gonna be rolling out soon. So a fair few people are packing up, getting ready to leave. Which means two things. Photo opportunity for the skyline for today's thumbnail. And uh, the police are about to rock up, so we need to hustle. Roadster with the chaser front end. It's not a BMW rear end, it's a president rear end. I can't believe I forgot that. With the fresh RB26. Yeah, that RB26. It's, it's a little salty because he had an RB28. I and still have it. He still has it, yes. We're gonna actually do some diagnostics on that. But this thing is looks fresh. So do, do we tell everyone? The, the engine let go at Fuji one day. Yes. yes. And uh, this is the replacement engine for the time being. Yes, yes. And uh, tell us, what, what's, what is it? Uh, so it's a fairly stock bottom end. Okay. Um, a 2.6 bottom end, 5U block. Nice. Uh, I think a standard crank, but yep. with uh, Nismo con rods. Yeah. Um, but on the top end, uh, we start with the turbo side, got the um, Tomei 550s. Oh, nice. Tomei twins, okay. The Tomei twins, uh, 260 on cam. Nice. Uh, the standard uh, step one V cam. Yep. So two, five, yeah, so you don't need to worry about like pistons hitting and stuff, right? Right. Um, Nismo intake. Yep. Uh, we got a uh, injector dynamics, 1,000cc injectors. Nice. That was an up garage pickup. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Up garage had IDs? Yeah. I, I went to my local up garage. They're brand new in the bag. That's so weird. Yeah. Okay. So they're the older ones. They're 1,000 instead of the 1050s. Yeah. But because of that, I needed to get a new uh, Tomei fuel rail. Yeah, I love it. You're like, yeah, because of that, I had to get this. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like me explaining to my wife why I had to get something. <laughs> well, the bigger injector so I can run more boost. That's uh, true. But the injectors are 11 mil. Okay. And the stocks are 10 and a half. Yeah, you're right. So that had to go. And so, because that went, I had to get the Tomei fill pressure regulator yep. to match. Looks good, dude. What is she making? Uh, right around uh, 500 right Let's now. race. I got. I made 500 too. <laughs> Your all-wheel drive though, so you'll beat me. Uh, actually, my all-wheel drive system's having a little issue. Oh, right perfect now. then. Let's go. Let's go to the one gun. You know, the, the, the messed up thing is, uh, I saw your time at uh, Fuji. Yeah. I, we, I think, you actually, we are pretty, I ran a 215. Really? Yeah. Dang. And uh, you, you're right, right around that uh, space. <laughs> and I was like just freaking out the whole time. I was like, the car is really fast. Yeah, dude, it's stupid fast. It sounds good too. Dude, this is beautiful. The ARC cooling panel too. Koyo Rad. I love it. It's simple, but it works good. And the PRP goodies. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Herman. Yeah. This looks great. I think we're about to get shut down. The police are ramping up over there. Yeah. All right. Shutting down. Such a great night. It feels incredible to have driven this to Daikoku again and for this thing to be back on the streets. I need to be careful though. This thing is so responsive. It makes so much power. It's just going to get me in trouble. Just leaving in first and second gear, it's pretty much just wants to spin the wheels. So maybe I'll lower the boost or something, but or, or we could just put some bigger, beefier tires on and kind of grip it up a bit, but I don't want to break drivetrain. So I don't know. We'll figure something out make it a little less likely to get me in trouble. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The Skyline is back. Make sure you go get yourself the Skyline shirt on summit.net. We also have a 30% off right now sale on all hoodies. So grab yourself some now that it's warmed up and I will see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace.